actually I'm pretty sure it's diameter but it could be radius of 50 meters whatever he's going to be somewhere in this range and that'll give me a pretty interesting random uh, spread of, I know he's going to be somewhere on this map but I'm not sure where um, I'm going to save the mission I'm going to call it um, practice uh, I'll just call it practice one and for reasons we'll get to later it's probably a good idea not to put spaces in between characters because that will end up making your uh, file list a little complicated I'm going to save it as the default user mission and I'm going to say OK now it's saved once I save it I get this new button down here that is preview that's how I get to preview the game so I haven't put anything else in but it'll play um, I click preview wait a little bit at this point I can pick which of the characters that I made playable I want to play generally better to pick the group leader so that you can control the other members of the squad and away we go and if I had put notes or tasks in here that would show up there and I can scroll in and only because this is just a demo I'm not putting anything else in so I don't know where I'm going except for the fact that I just designed it so I do know so here's my squad and they, have uh, they uh, form into an, a wedge formation and they follow me if I back up the road they follow and ooh, what, what's he doing there he's got a new definition of where the front of my uh, wedge is if I go to the external view I can look around and see how they're following me as I'm running up to the bad guys alright I'm gonna sprint up to the bad guys for the sake of the demo get through the broken fence here I'm gonna crouch down I'm using third-person external view just so you can see my player. I look around, my team's coming, they're through the fence. Um, and there are the bad guys. Let's go into my scope and have a look at them. So, I can start firing now. And I'm gonna. I hit one guy and bloodied him, but... Uh, didn't kill him. And having the great AI that Arma 2 does, he ducks, now he's back up. And if I check my score hitting the I button, I see that I've killed one guy. I'm going to send my team by hitting 8 and then 7. Formation. I put them into line formation so that they're what flyers call line abreast, or I guess sailors do too. Man, two hour front. I killed the second guy. There's another one. Ooh, my team's taking him out. Let's get a little crazy and sprint forward. I'm gonna guess that the enemy has uh, been a little bit suppressed. They've seen two of their guys get killed. They're probably a little scared. If I kill one more, they'll probably run. There's one more. Somewhere around here is another guy. So with my team supporting me, where are you team? Yeah, line abreast formation. We're running in. And you'll notice I'm kind of in the crouched position as opposed to this, which is the fully standing position. A little harder to hit if you're crouched down a little, a little more defensive. All right, there's the fourth bad guy. I'm hitting the dirt. Actually, I think I have a grenade here. Yeah. Have a grenade, pal. I've got him. I'm bleeding. Ooh, overshot. Did somebody say they got him? Yeah. Okay. So, all four are dead. Um, I think if you look over on the left of my screen where number two says I've got him, I think that means he did get him. Yeah. So there's three, three down right out there. And one, two, three, 
And my number two guy is telling me it should be safe. Thanks, dude. And there's the fourth guy. So the game doesn't end because I haven't put an ending in it. But for my basics, I've created a mission and uh, the enemy spawned in a semi-random place. I could change that diameter for where they spawn. Um, but uh, they'll spawn somewhere randomly within that circle of that radius. Um, or diameter, whatever it is. <laughs> and that's about it. Okay, so uh, this is the end of number one, and now I'm going to take this same mission and add a little more complexity to it. So what I suggest is that you go into the editor and you try to make this mission and see if it works right. And if it doesn't, come back and watch what I did again and uh, revise it until you can get it straight. Good luck.